Are you a South African musician trying to figure out the difference between Samro, Sampra, Risa and Capasso? Welcome to my video series where I plan on demystifying these four organizations. Cue the intro! What's up? It's your boy Skill from Skill Music SA and I am a musician from South Africa, independent. I am here to demystify the difference between Samro, Sampra, Risa and Capasso to try and understand why on earth do we need to register with these companies. But before we go into more detail into the independent organizations, we first have to understand why on earth are we going there. These four organizations kind of help us make money off of our music by collecting royalties. There are three main royalties that we can collect here in sunny South Africa. First one is the performance right, the second one is the mechanical right, and the third one is the needle time right. There are more rights you can collect from, but these three are the easiest to collect if you just simply sign up and only one of those organizations you actually have to pay money. So the first right is called the performance right. The performance right is when you earn royalties when your music is ever performed in public. So whenever your music is being played in public, you are entitled to a performance royalty. Where could this be? This is radio, this is TV, YouTube, this is any movie, this is on radio, any, any place you can think of where your music is being played publicly, you are entitled to a performance royalty. The second right that you can possibly collect is the mechanical right. This royalty is entitled to you when your music is reproduced from one platform to another platform, for public use of course. So if your music is being streamed, if your music is being synced to some movie, this is where you can collect the mechanical royalty. The third royalty that you can collect is the needle time right. The needle time right is the royalty performers or musicians get when they made a contribution to a sound recording. This sounds very similar to the performance right, but the performance right deals with the writers and the composers. But the needle time right deals with the performers and the musicians taking part in that recording. It's very possible to collect all three royalties, only two out of these three royalties. But if you are the original writer and performer of this song, it's very possible for you to collect all three and 100% of these royalties. So let me give you different scenarios. One. You are the musician that wrote the song, you made the composition or made the beat, and this song gets streamed on Spotify. You are entitled to three of these royalties. You are entitled to the needle time because you're the performer. You are entitled to the mechanical right because your song has been changed and reproduced on a streaming platform. And you the writer and the composer of this song, so you are also entitled to the performance right of this song. Let me give you another scenario. If you didn't write the song at all, but you were a session musician, for example, a keyboardist in the song, you are entitled to a needle time right. A third scenario is if Ed Sheeran made a song called The Shape of You and you decide to do your own cover. You are entitled to a needle time right and a mechanical right, a portion of it depending on how the deal is set up. Performance royalties are collected by a PRO. A PRO, Performance Rights Organization, collects your performance royalty. There are several PROs in South Africa, but the one that collects my performance royalties is Samro. The reason I'm affiliated with it is because it's got affiliations with other PROs in the world and the radio stations when I was supplying constantly asked if my music was registered to Samro. Applying to Samro is very easy. You simply go to samro.org.za, download their forms, fill out the forms and send them through on the email that's attached on the forms. Alternatively, you can give them a ring and they will send you the forms directly to your email. You simply fill it out and send it back. That's how I did it. This all costs no money, so it's absolutely free. The only thing you have to pay for is time and internet to find the forms. For additional information, look into the bio. I've left the link to Samro and I've also left their number. Sorry Samro, you're gonna get a few phone calls after a few people have watched this video. Once you have sent your forms to Samro, I suggest that you give them a follow up every three days. You literally call the call center and you say, I sent through my forms and I'm checking if you guys have received them. You do this for the next three days. Eventually someone will say, yes, we have received them. We'll process them. They will send you an email and that will eventually give you your membership number. Samro registration dates vary a lot. I've heard people getting registered within three weeks and some people saying as long as six months. Just make sure you follow up because if you don't follow up, you will probably end up being one of the six month people. Once you've sent your forms to Samro and Samro has replied to you, they will send you an email that has your relation number. 
Your relation number is basically your membership number. Samro has four tiers that you fall into once you have received your relation number from them. Once you have received your relation number, you become a prospective member. As a prospective member, you don't yet start earning royalties, but this is the automatic tier that Samro puts you in. Once you start earning past the threshold that they've set, I'm not too sure what that is, then you become an ordinary member. As an ordinary member, you are entitled to certain benefits such as royalty distributions, such as being able to vote and getting financial statements from the board of directors as Samro. After you become an ordinary member, there's a new threshold where you can become an associate member. I am not that yet, but you are entitled to a bigger sway within the organization. And then once you break the next threshold, you can become a full member at Samro, which basically means you can direct the way Samro goes. That concludes episode one of the series where I still need to go deeper into Samro, cover Capasso, Risa and Sampra. It's a lot to cover, so I had to break it up in segments. If you did enjoy this video, please do subscribe, hit the bell to notify you when I am posting and let me know what you think of this video in the comment section. Question of the series, how easy was it for you to register for Samro and how long did it take? Do let me know in the comments and until next time, Skill signing out.